My name is Klaus Kettner. I'm the MD of all the direct sensors activities at Grundfos. Basically, I manage a balance scorecard, which governs all direct sensors activities. It's a project that started out more than 20 years ago uh, at the request of Niels Du Jensen, who is uh, son of the founder of uh, Grundfos, and at that time he was responsible for technology. And he said he wanted a differential pressure sensor at half the cost of uh, what we could uh, produce it at at that time. And we've definitely achieved that. So this is a wafer showing how we actually do it. So uh, what we have that is unique is actually not this piece of metal, it's the coating that is applied on top, which is uh, uh, around a micron uh, fin, or thick if, if you will. And it's consisting of, uh, has the two properties. It's amorphous, so it has the properties of stainless steel, and at the same time also uh, glass, so water cannot permeate it through, which just makes it ideal for uh, aqueous applications, like in a pump. Uh, and uh, we actually do uh, batches of uh, 25, and then we ship uh, 20 from farm, and then they are coming to the electronic factory to be finished off as a calibrated and, and linearized uh, sensor, like this, which is a differential pressure sensor. And, uh, and basically this measures the difference in pressure uh, uh, that a pump can create. There's a lot of things to be said ab about the sensors. I think in, in this case, it's about, this is a combi sensor. So measuring differential pressure and temperature using just one element. Of course, that reduces the cost, but also the complexity of what you have to build on a system level because you only need one entry point. And um, I think that together with the, the robustness of the sensor uh, and the cost effectiveness is definitely is some of the USPs that uh, the, the sensors are bringing into play when we're talking about systems. Mm -hmm. 